Hare Krishna. We are on the first chapter of the chapter, the passing away of Vishnu. So this is a very interesting chapter. In the first eleven verses of this chapter, we saw how Vishnu is welcoming everyone, and he is on his deathbed. Everyone has come to see him, so he welcomes everyone, and uh, Pandavas and Krishna go to see him. There are sages from different planets who have come to see him. <clears throat> and we welcome the everyone according to time place and circumstances and then we saw the most important section seven verses we discussed last few weeks 12 to 17 where pandavas are pacified by bhishma we discussed in great detail the concept of suffering and we discussed how uh, tolerance suffering how bhishma basically encourages all of them and now we are Last time we began the 18th verse, 18 to 24, is another very important section where, after pacifying the Pandavas, Bhishma is now going to glorify Krishna. So this is the glorification of the Lord that is mentioned. <coughs> so he is going to glorify Krishna's position as the supreme Lord. There is a question. Somebody is asking: Are we already on Zoom? Have we started? Yeah. Okay, so the 18th verse we started. 18 to 24 is where this is a new section we began. These are very important section where after pacifying Pandava, Vishma is now going to glorify Krishna as the supreme personality of God. And within that, 18, 19, 20 is where Vishma is going to explain how Krishna is the original Narayan and only great Mahajans can move. So last time we took 18th verse where Bhishma says that Krishna is the original first Narayan. And today the 19th verse we will start. Text 19, you can please repeat after me. Asyanu Bhavam Bhagavan Veda Guyatamam Shivaha Veda Narada Saksha Bhagavan Kapilon Rupa You will read translation. Translation Walking, Lord Shiva, Narada, the sage amongst the demigods, Narada, the sage amongst the demigods, and Kapila, the incarnation of Godhead, all know very confidentially about his glories through direct So we'll read the purport also because see, please understand the section now is that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead and Bhishma is going to establish that. He has already explained to Yudhishthir that you should not feel sad because you are protected by the Lord. All that is explained. He has pacified the Pandavas. But now he's going to tell them that the person you are with, it is not an ordinary person. He is a Supreme Lord. And to establish that point, he is now going to speak. For the first, last time he spoke about how Krishna has come in Vishnu dynasty. And now he is saying that he is the uh, most glorious person and only great sages like Shiva and Narada, Kapila, they know these glories of Krishna. And in the purport, Srila Prabhupada talks about Mahajans. And only the Mahajanas can know Krishna. So let us read the purple. We'll read together. Your devotees of the Lord or Bahavas or persons who know the glories of the Lord in different transcendental loving services have the Lord as innumerable expansions of this plenary form. There are innumerable pure devotees of the Lord who are engaged in the exchange of service of different humors. Ordinarily, there are 12 great devotees of the Lord. Namely, Brahma, Narada, Shiva, 
Bhishma Janaka Sukadev Goswami Badi Maharaj and Yamaraj. Bhishma Dev, although one of them, has mentioned only three important names in the twelve, who know the glories of the Lord. Shri Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur, one of the great devotees of the Lord in the modern age, explains that Anubhava or the glory of the Lord is first appreciated by the devotee in ecstasy, manifesting the symptoms of perspiring, trembling, weeping, bodily eruptions, etc., which are further enhanced by steady understanding of the glories of the Lord. So, different understandings of bhavas are exchanged between Yashoda and the Lord, binding the Lord by rules. And the chariot driving by the Lord in the exchange of love with Arjuna. These glories of the Lord are exhibited as being subordinated before his devotees. And that is another feature of the glories of the Lord. Shri Goswami and the Kumaras, although situated in the transcendental position, become converted by another feature of power and turn into pure devotees of the Lord. Revelations imposed upon the devotees by the Lord constitute another exchange of transcendental bhava between the Lord and the devotees. The Lord says, I put my devotee into difficulty, and thus the devotee becomes more exchanging transcendental bhava with me. Placing the devotee into material troubles necessitates delivering him from the illusory material relations. Now, material relations are based on the reciprocation of material enjoyment, which depends mainly on material resources. Therefore, when material resources are withdrawn by the Lord, the devotee is 90% attracted towards the transcendental loving service of the Lord. Thus, the Lord snatches the fallen soul from the mind of material existence. Tribulations offered by the Lord to his devotee are different from the tribulations resulting from vicious action. All these glories of the Lord are especially known to the great Mahajans like Brahma, Shiva, Narada, Kapila, Kumara, and Mish, as mentioned above, and is one and is able to grasp it by their grace. So this is the uh, importance of Param uh, Mahajanas, the great souls who can understand. So if you see this verse is uh, very similar to the purport is very similar to what is mentioned in Mahabharata. Tarko pratishtha shutayo vivinna nasa vrishiryasya matam na bhinnam dharma se tatvam nihitam buhaya maha jano yena krata satantha Tarko pratishtha shutayo vivinna In the Vedic scriptures can be speculated, argued, discussed from so many angles. That people will remain eternally confused and we will never get right answer. Tarko Pratishta Shutayo Vivinna Nasa Vrishir Yasya Matam Nabhinnam. And two Rishis will not, will not have the same opinion on every issue. Because Dharma, Dharma Se Tatvam Nihitam Guhayam, the conclusion of scriptures is hidden in the cave. <laughs> if there is a deep, dark, inside that it is there. And we cannot understand, we get confused. Therefore, we choose one, one tradition. Like we have chosen Iskon. Some people choose Ramanuja's tradition, Ramanandis. So we have chosen this tradition. And then what we do? Maha, Janu, Yenagata, Sapantha. We follow the footsteps of great souls. That is very peaceful. We don't have to, otherwise you'll keep arguing, discussing, what do you want ultimately? I was in somebody's house recently, from IIT background. He only challenged me questions and I gave giving answers before, before he's understanding the answer, he's asking the next question. So I was tired, I was exasperated. I said, Prabhu, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, Prabhu, but this question is there. I said, <laughs> I said you are just doing Tarko Pratishtha. You have to choose some path if you're interested in spiritual life. So we don't, we, we keep arguing. Therefore it is said, Dharma Satatva Nita Guhayam. Guhayam means it is hidden in a cave. We, can, we will not understand. So we need, basically we need, we need few things. One is we need uh, 
just one second. Yeah. We need three things basically. We need a guru who will teach us the scriptures. We need scriptures. Guru cannot speak his own realities. Guru, scriptures, and then along with Guru and Shastra, we need Sadhu, which means tradition. All three are needed. That is a triangle. The Guru, what he speaks, is in line with the tradition, Sadhus, and both of them are speaking from scriptures. Only scriptures we will not be able to understand because, see, if we read only scriptures, then that how will we understand in 2024 our problems are going on in life? We are not able to connect to the stories of Bali Maharaj and Shukracharya so much. So when we have Guru and Sadhu, they will make it relatable to our life. Therefore, we need Guru and Sadhu also. But Guru and Sadhu only without scriptures, then it will not have substance and foundation. Yes. <laughs> guru is the life person, the Guru. Sadhu, sadhu here is a word which refers to all Mahajanas, all tradition. Tradition and the Sadhu here is a common noun which refers to uh, Bhishma, Kapila, all the names, the traditions, the Mahajanas. So all are needed, both are needed. Sadhu can be Guruji also, if we have Guruji, like your Sadhu. So we can call Sadhu the Guruji, right? Sadhu says devotee is Krishna. They are also Sadhus. So therefore, when Uddhava was being instructed by Krishna, Krishna tells him very beautiful in the Ganam Kanto. Sulabam sudurlabam, plavam sukalpam guru karna dharam, maya nukule nanabas pateritam, kuman bhavabdim nataretsa atmaha. He says, My dear Uddhava, this body which people have called Nurudeyam, the nara, nara, the human body, this is, please understand this, Nurudeha madhyam sulabam. This body makes spiritual perfection very easy. You are a human being. For you now it has become very easy. But to get human life is Sudurlabham. Look at the paradox. Look at the words being used here. The Deha Madhyam Sulabham Sudurlabham. It is like saying human life is easy and difficult. It's a contradictory word. Sulabham Sudurlabham. Sulabham means once you got human life, then spiritual perfection is easy. But to get human life is Sudurlabham. The Deha Madhyam Sulabham Sudurlabham. And why is human life glorified so much? Plavam Sukalpam. It is a strong boat. And you are in the ocean of material existence. You need a good ship. So this is the ship which will help us cross over this ocean of material existence. It's not a ship with holes. This is a strong ship. But you may have a strong ship, but the ship cannot go anywhere without captain. So the scriptures explain who is the captain of this ship. Plavam sukalpam guru karnadhara. Guru is the karnadhara, the ship, captain of the ship. The captain may be there, the ship may be strong, but what if there is a cyclone? We need favorable winds also. That's what Krishna says. Maya nukule My instructions, which means the scriptures, they are the favorable winds. So when you have, when we are reading Bhagavatam every day, when we are hearing Bhagavatam class, coming to temple or reading on YouTube, Basically, being connected to scripture means favorable winds are blowing. Otherwise, we will have sentimental attachment to Guru. Oh, Guru did not smile at me today. Oh, Guru is upset with me. Oh, I have offended the Guru so much. I think I will go to hell. Sentimental attachment. So many, many devotees, we have gone through two, you know. We have gone through this extreme. We come to Hare Krishna because Guru is very kind to us. Not because Guru is giving us Krishna, but because he's smiling at us, he's asking us about our well-being. He's very caring. My Guru Maharaj is very caring. So we want a very caring Guru who will ask me about my life, my, my health, my business, and he will give name to my children, come for their marriages, and he will encourage me in my material life. 
<laughs> he's so nice. And he's also telling you to chant Hare Krishna. Okay, I will chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> and Guru is, why is Guru doing all of this? Being nice to you, kind to you, speaking, hoping that one day you will chant Hare Krishna. So you see what will happen eventually, there will be a conflict of expectations. Guru is interested in your material life so that you become interested in Krishna. And you are showing interest in Krishna because, because the person who is giving you material care is telling you to chant Hare Krishna. But time will come in both of your relationship where you will realize he doesn't want Krishna. And you will, realize, you will start feeling that he is actually not interested in the material life. Because, because Bhagavatam will eventually tell you to transcend material life. So, best of the devotees have sometimes a problem with Guru. Because they think Guru is no longer coming to our house. Guru Maharaj used to come to my house every month. Now he doesn't come. Because Guru is going to give Krishna to everyone. He is not, he is not bound by only you. You are not the only one who has a right on the Guru. Therefore, we need both. We need scriptures, we need parampara, that is Mahajanas, and we also need Guru. All three are needed. We can't be sentimentally attached. It's very important. Therefore, Guru has come to give us Krishna and Guru has given us scriptures. Even if Guru is not physically present, we keep reading and hearing his classes and associating with him through his Vani. Srila Prabhupada is not here, but we associate with Srila Prabhupada through his books. Therefore, scriptures are very important. Otherwise, we will be sentimentally attached. And when Guru leaves this world, so many people leave the, world, leave the movement also. Therefore, we cannot forget scriptures. Because scriptures is what Krishna has given for us. Maya Mukda Jever Nahi Swataha Krishna Gyan. We are illusioned in Maya. So we do not know Krishna. We cannot know Krishna on our own. Can you repeat this verse? Ma I'll, I'll chant. Maya Mukda Jever Nahi. Swataha Krishna Gyan. Maya Mukta Jiver Nai Sata Krishna Gyan Jive Ratri Paya Koila Krishna Ved Puran Maya Mukta because we are illusioned by Maya Swataha Krishna Gyan Nahi Nahi Swataha Krishna Gyan We cannot know Krishna on our own because we are illusioned by Maya Therefore Jive Ratri Paya Koila to be very compassionate on us, what Krishna gave? Veda Puran. He has given us Veda. He has given us scriptures. So that scriptures will give us higher intelligence and will help us come out of illusion. Therefore, we cannot underestimate the power of scriptures. This is very, very important. You know, this is, otherwise we'll be stuck in this Nihitam uh, Guhayam, in the cave of illusion. And so many people are saying so many things. But if you start reading scriptures, associating with the parampara, then it is like somebody getting torch, sun, actually sunlight inside the cave. And all the darkness will go away. We need scriptures and light devotees who understand scriptures and teach scriptures. And if they have some problem in their life, then you should not get bewildered. So you have parampara also. You have tradition also. That's why we are all protected. That is a protection system. Don't get attached to one person as a cult. You're not a cultist group. You understand what I am? You know, we, can't, we cannot be like that. We have to have, we should know that the whole parampara is there. And Srila Prabhupada is thrown, like you know, we are stuck in the well. Somebody is in the well. And somebody from top is throwing rope. You catch that rope and get out of the well. And that rope is the Krishna consciousness process. And many of us are inside the well suffering, but we are not taking the rope. And Prabhupada Guru is saying from top, come on, say, take this rope and come out. Say, <laughs> hai, hai. So we are happy in the well. Some of us, what is happening to us, we are in the well, some scorpion is biting us. 
some snake is coming near us bees are stinging us so some of us are feeling the pain of the being in the well so therefore we are interested in the rope so to go back to krishna we need two things we need krishna to pull us from above and we need kick from below <laughs> those who are not getting kick from below <laughs> i don't know what i am saying <laughs> महाजन <laughs> 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 as our bajaj prabhu said and devotee is a prabhupad you are the th- that 12 mahajana so that devotee is a prabhupad you are the 13th mahajana prabhupad said you become the 14th <laughs> immediately shri prabhupad said. so basically follow the footsteps follow the footsteps of great devotees understand krishna consciousness and become deeply situated in krishna so what happens you know see if when we have these three things in our life i'm sorry there's something wrong with this it is yeah so the see there are very important thing. one is guru parampara scriptures this triangle will give us what what will happen when we have this triangle in our life is it simply some box that we have to tick okay i have a guru i am connected to parampara and i have scriptures is, is there the end of the story what are we supposed to do with all of this who are we in krishna consciousness means what means what practically what it means when we are in this material world bhakti means what six solutions to your problems and Your what does it mean to improve your sadhana? Ultimately, what do we want Sir, to do? To yes, become attached to Krishna. Otherwise, what is the use of you know? We are ticking all the boxes. I have a uh, the diksha ho gaya, guru ho gaya. Okay, I am attending Tuesday club. Okay, parampara is all there. Okay, I am reading scriptures. Okay, we sub box it. Okay, it was like that. No, I have to get. See, Bishma is telling that you be understand that. your friend krishna is actually supreme lord and be attached to him and understand and recognize him as lord so we'll chant text 20 hmm? very nice verse yam manyase matuleyam yam manyase matuleyam priyam mitram suhurtamam priyam mitram suhurtamam akaro sharivam dutam akaro sharivam dutam कृष्ण सुप्रीम लॉर्ड we attached to him as supreme lord many of us also take many times our devotional life because it is a ritual every day we are doing we forget that we are actually trying to get attached to krishna who is the supreme lord we become more interested in finishing our 16 rounds we are not interested in getting attracted to the holy names we are more interested in coming to temple and taking darshan we are not interested in krishna seeing us we are more interested to see if you know i am getting prasad but i am not interested to see if krishna is satisfied with me we don't ask these questions this is very very important so let's read the purport lord sri krishna although acting as the cousin brother friend welfarer counselor messenger benefactor etc of the pandavas was still the supreme personality of god out of his causes mercy and favor upon the unalloyed devotees he performs all kinds of service but that does not mean that he has changed his position as the absolute person to think of him as an ordinary poor man with a gross type of ignorance therefore we can't get we can't take this process to for granted 
We can't take Krishna as ordinary. So, Guru Sadhu Shastra is there. Keep hearing from them and increase our attachment to Krishna. See, when we read scriptures, now our head becomes sharp. Intelligence becomes sharp. And along with reading scriptures, we should also meditate on Krishna and get attached to him. When Krishna was in the womb of his mother Devaki, all the demigods came to offer prayers. This is in the second chapter of 10th Canto. But this is one of the most classic prayers they offer. What are they saying? Krishna, see, demigods have all the intelligence, they know all the uh, knowledge. But they are saying ultimately, all this knowledge, say, what we are supposed to do? Ratamar Naika, Yaktar Naika. Is it some exam that they have to give 100 out of 100 marks? No, they are saying, Tvai Ambujaksha, Ambujaksha means, oh, Krishna, you are beautiful lotus eyes. And your speciality is your Achilles. Akhila Sattva Dhamni, you are in a board of unbelievable potencies. There is so much potency you have, all the strength you have. So, what we are supposed to do? Sama Dinave Shita Cheta Seke. We are supposed to focus our attention on you. We see, they basically put all of us. This is a direct instruction for all of us. Supposed to focus attention on Krishna. Means meditate Krishna. Remember, see, you see Krishna lotus feet, you took darshan today. You saw Krishna lotus feet, there is Tulsi mixed with Chandan on his lotus feet, which has a pinkish hue. You saw that. Now you saw that with your eyes, but you also have eyes inside your body. There is something called an inner eyes. Can you see Krishna lotus feet in your inner eyes? We don't. How many of us spend time? We are supposed to do that. That's what they are saying. Sama dina ve shita cheta seke. Are samadhi ka jau. Bhagavan ke charan kamano ka dhyan karo. Even hearing. When we hear class. If we are hearing attentively, then we have to hear not simply with this ear. Srila Prabhupada said, listen. Listen means not with this ear. There are ears inside. You see, we have to hear from that ear, which means even when you are not hearing, you will hear. Like one day I was going for a program in the auto rickshaw. There was a traffic signal next to me. There was the next auto, that fellow was playing some old Bollywood song, which I, I used to like when I was not a Hare Krishna devotee. You know, those old black and white Salil Chaudhuri song. Now, how much I knew the signal will turn green. So, why struggle against it? I mean, so after a few seconds, the song stopped. No, the song did not stop. Signal was going on. So, I I went to the program, took Prasad, met family members. So, okay, then I had to sit for the class. So, I took the kartal and I'm about to start. I'm about to start. Radha Mahadev. Aang ban kea to kaan mein. Where is it coming from? Inner ears. Inner ears. So, we have inner. Sometimes we smell also something. It's not there, but inner senses are there. Inner eyes are there. Inner ears are there. So, but when we are present, when we take darshan in a state of being present, we are mindful while taking darshan, by hearing class. That is called samadhina veshita cheta seke. Chetana ko pura focus karo. Then what will happen? Samadhina veshita cheta seke. That will lead to patpada pote na mahat krate na. Patpada pote na. Oh Krishna. Your lotus feet is a boat. That boat will take us back home, back to Godhead. And this boat, if I remember Krishna's lotus feet, that means I am sitting on a boat. 
एंड यू मैन थिंक अच्छा हम बैठेंगे अकेले तो नहीं हम वो बोट में In the past, all the great devotees have sat on this boat. What is that boat? Krishna's lotus feet is the boat, and they have crossed over this ocean of material existence by Krishna by sitting on the boat of Krishna's lotus feet. Basically, when you meditate on Krishna's lotus feet, you got onto the boat, and that boat will take us across this ocean. Now there is a twist to the story. See, generally. the boat is small and ocean is big so we think oh this huge ocean material world is very big ocean will this boat be sufficient if i if i close my eyes meditate on krishna lotus feet that is a boat i am sitting but how far i can go if i meditate meditate on krishna lotus feet but that is a small boat ocean is very big no kurvanti govats the boat is so big That the ocean becomes as small as the size of the water contained in the hoof print of a calf. I mean, it's a joke, okay? Huge ocean. You're suffering in this ocean, so you're taking a boat of Krishna Brother Speed, and suddenly that boat becomes so big that the ocean water becomes small. Is that logic? That means if we make Krishna big in our life, then our problems will become small. That is why Krishna is called the first line. Akila Sattva Dham. He has unlimited, even considerable potencies. He's not ordinary. This is the, that is the logic given here. See, there was Tenali Rama and uh, Krishna Deva Rai. <coughs> They copied. You know, Akbar Birbal is copy of Tenali Rama. So Tenali Rama Kingdom, Krishna Deva Rai said, he drew a line on the board. He said, "Can you make this line smaller?" Without erasing it or cutting it, so what did Tenali Rama do? He drew a bigger line. So if you are asking, "Are you my life? Me? It's not problem. No problem. How can I say that? Krishna ka line kicho bada. Krishna ka lotus feet ko pakdo. So what happened? Ocean chota ho gaya. Usi prakar Krishna ke baare mein chintan karo. Krishna ka meditation karo. And then suddenly this ocean becomes so small. That is the power of that pinkish hued lotus feet of Krishna with that tulsi chandan. That is the power. That is what we are supposed to do. Not simply become academic scholars of Bhagavata. This is what is being directly told to us. Other than this, ocean is huge. Once I was in Perth, Western Australia, standing with a friend of mine on the ocean side. I told him that GPS ni pal. Dek yahan pe khade ho ke straight jaenge to kitha jaenge. तो उसने मेजर उधर देखा इट टू कल डायरेक्टेड वन प्लेस इन साउथ अफ्रीका सर कितना किलोमीटर है सब 9000 सम किलोमीटर ओनली वाटर फ्रॉम कन्याकुमारी टू कश्मीर कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी एंड अगेन कन्याकुमारी टू कश्मीर दैट इज लेस देन दिस डिस्टेंस दैट मींस सो मच वाटर इज देयर कैन यू इमेजिन गोइंग फ्रॉम कन्याकुमारी टू कश्मीर कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी देन अगेन टू कन्याकुमारी सो दैट मच वाटर एंड इमेजिन यू आर समवेयर इन द मिडिल हाउ विल यू You get across this huge ocean, but Krishna lotus feet when you hold on to suddenly this ocean becomes so tiny. Means our problems become tiny and Krishna becomes everywhere. Krishna my, we become Krishna my. Samashita ye padapalla vaplavam mahat padam punya sho murare bhavam budirvat sa padam param padam 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 yadvi padham na tesham. That every step of this material world there is danger. Padam padam me dibhram me tesham. But Krishna lotus feet remembrance. Punne sho marare bhavam budir. This lotus feet material. But sa padam it becomes small. That is the power. Therefore, our devta in the sixth canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam, they come running to Lord Vishnu for protection. And Rudra also is creating havoc. So they are. There's a lot of prayers. So they are saying, "Oh, my dear Lord, please protect us. Please protect us. Please, we can't handle this ultra so." So Krishna may say, "Why are you coming to me? You are your sort of demigods. You are great. Why are you coming to me?" So they are saying, "No, no. You know, you are always smiling or cool. <laughs> Actually, then they glorify the Lord. So they say one verse: 'Avesmitam tam paripurna kamam 
ಸ್ವೇನೇವಲಾಭೇನ ಸಮಂ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ವಿನೋಪಸರ್ಪ ಅಪರಂ ಹಿ ಬಾಲಿಶ ಸ್ವಹಲಾಂಗುಲೆ ನಾತಿ ಸಿಂಧು ಐಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ ಎನಾಲಜಿ ದೇಗಿ ಆಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾ ಕೂಲ್ ಸ್ಮೈಲ್ ದೇತೆ ಅವಿಸ್ಮಿತ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ and if somebody in the material world is foolish that he gives you up and comes to us and the devtas they are saying are who is he vino pa sarpat aapko chhod diya aparam hi balisha wo childish hai bachpana hai uske andar murkh hai wo aapko chhod ke hamare paas aa raha hai wo to aise hi hua jaise shahalangule na titar te sindhu ಕುತ್ತೆ ಕಿ ಪೂಜ ಪಕಡ್ ಕಿ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಪಾರ್ ಕರ therefore krishna krishna is akila sattva dhami the previous verse i quoted from the second chapter and if we can do anything so we just have to come to krishna because krishna strength never deteriorates so we have we need the parampara we need the guru we need scriptures and we have to follow the instruction of remembering krishna then our life becomes auspicious otherwise if the guru is only entertaining you and trying to give you scriptural applications for your life then you will be attached to your life only every class you will go thinking what i can get what are the practical lessons i can get for my life five lessons from this five ways of suffering tolerating suffering five five points to solve my daily problem who will solve krishna so five five principles acronym krishna k stands for kindness r stands for rejuvenation as i said acronym <laughs> but ultimately all that is only for my life my problem basically that means i'm still holding on to my life so we need a bigger line then my life my line will become small we need krishna we need to feel ultimately whatever suffering you are going through where is that suffering happening mind so if we will fill our mind with krishna life becomes so beautiful krishna mai karna hai ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೆ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಕರ್ನ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಾಮ್ನೆ ಜಾಕೆ ರೋನಾ ರೋನಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಬಸ್ ಹೋ ಗ್ಯಾ ದೆನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹೈ ಕುಸ್ತ ಹೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ವೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಶಿಲಾ ಪ್ರಪಾಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ನನ್ನ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ he says that one very poor boy is studying with very poor um, his mother was very poor she was she didn't have money at all and then she told in times so she wanted to send her son to gurukul but she couldn't take him personally because she had to work and uh, she had she was a housemaid in many places so she told her son you go through this forest and there is the gurukul and you study in that school so he went and evening when he was coming back it was a long big forest very lonely and the child got scared and the night when he came he started crying and he told his mother i cannot go i will not go so his mother was very sad she said oh, his son has to go to school then only we get educated if he goes to the school but i cannot go with him so she said oh my dear our son's name was gopal she said gopal your elder brother is there in the forest his name is deen bandhu dada dada my older brother his name is deen bandhu just call out to him he will come he said he said really yes so he went to school morning was okay but when he was coming back again in the night evening it was scary then he remembered what his mother said so with all sincerity he said is he shouted din bandhu dada he shouted and krishna appeared with his peacock feather 
cow. The way Srila Prabhupada described the story is very sweet. So then, he said, you are my brother? He said, yes. Yeah. And you have cows? And you are staying in the forest? He said, yes, come, let us play. So they played for hours. And meanwhile, his mother was worried. She's waiting. And then finally, this boy arrived in the night. He was glowing. He was so happy. And the mother said, what happened? Where were you? And he said, Dear Mother Dada met me and we played. <laughs> so mother was shocked. She said, really, Krishna came. She didn't have so much faith. And then she said, thank Krishna. Thank you so much. You are so kind to me. And then every day this boy would come back, play with Krishna, and he was very happy. And then one day, it was announced in the school, the teacher said, tomorrow is Guru Purnima, everybody has to get gifts for the Guru. And this boy thought, Are, we are very poor, we don't have anything. And all the other boys were discussing that, I will get a silk boti for my Guru, somebody said, I will get a you know, golden watch or somebody, everybody was saying different, different things. So this boy thought, oh, we are very poor. What we can we get? So again, in the night when he came, he told his mother, tomorrow is Guru Purnima. What we can give? So mother, mother said, oh, we are very poor. Oh, we are your friend. You meet him every day. So tomorrow we are going to school. Call up to Deen Bandhu Dada. So in the morning, he shouted, Deen Bandhu Dada. Krishna appeared. <laughs> so then he said, Are you call me in the morning today. He said, yes, I have to go to school. Today is Guru Purnima. And the teacher has said, we have to get gifts for him. What gift can I take? So Deen Mandalada gave him one small pot of curd. Take this. This is a special curd. And Gopal was like, Gopal was, he loves Krishna. So he said, this is very nice. He took. And there, after the program, everybody was offering rich, rich, big, big, opulent gifts. And he came and gave his guru one pot of curd. Guru saw the care. I felt my ghost. He thought it is the most insignificant, cheap gift. You didn't even look at it. Keep it there during the lunch. Feast, jo hai, usme thoda ko to mil jai. So then, uh, during lunch, serving started. And somebody saw that one pot was there. So he told the server, Oh, thoda, dalo, curd. So that one boy came and put little curd. And this boy ate, Wow, this is so tasty. Give me more. And he, and he told his friend, This is very good. So his friend also said. And then everybody was taking that curd. And that pot, curd did not get over only. It started overflowing. So then the teacher saw this, he got a big pot, like a big pot, a big pot. And then they got a bigger pot. The teacher said, what is this? And everybody did not eat any of the chappal book. Nobody ate paneer, pizza, pasta, kuchni. They were eating only dahi. Because who gave that dahi? Deen Mandu Dada, Krishna had given that dahi. So they were relishing that. They said, what is this? Yehi khele, yehi khana. Everybody is eating curd only. And the pots are getting over, small pot. So teacher said, hey, kuch to magic chal ra, sorcery, trickery. He called that boy Gopal and he said, what is this? He said, my friend gave me, my brother gave me. Who is your brother? Deen Bandhu Dada. Where is this? He says, in the forest. He has beautiful peacock feather. And he described Krishna to Teacher said, what nonsense, rubbish. He said, come with me, I'll take you. So he went. He took the teacher to the forest. And he said, Deen Bandhu Dada. He not appear. So he kept shouting, shouting, and the teacher said, See, I told you, you are tricking me, you are cheating, you are doing some jadu tona. So then Gopal started crying. Dean Bandhu Dada, please come. Everybody is thinking I am a liar. <laughs> please come. Dean Bandhu Dada did not come. And finally, there was a voice. He said, My dear Gopal, I am only seen by those who have innocence and simple faith like you have. But right now, you are with a person who has no faith. So then the teacher was completely shaken. Srila Prabhupada said this story in a different context of how Krishna has unlimited potency. Akila Satyadam, that one small pot of curd, he could create unlimited curd. So Krishna is amazing. So you are that line of problem, which is so much problem you are thinking, which is like an ocean. You just take hold of Krishna's boat. Then your ocean becomes small like the water contains the footprint of a cup. Our problem is we are not remembering Krishna sufficiently. We are remembering our problems only all the time. We, never, we don't remember Krishna at all. We think we are control freaks. We think if I think about my problems, I will be able to solve my problem. That is our problem. So like this. Now there is the next verse, 21st, but before that, 
I'm very, very happy to see Srinivai Prabhu here, who is the original very teacher cool. of this class. And all of your students are here, and I'm Uthand, my lecture there. <laughs> so please speak something, tell us something about Krishna and this Bhagavatam, whatever. He was, he was very kind, actually. He's my senior right from KC. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Of the past, uh, See, when I was studying in KC College, that time KC College was Krishnachan Chellaram College. But when you went, it became Krishna Conscious yeah. College. <laughs> <laughs> it is KC College. I would like to tell, it is because of Srinivas that I am here. Yeah. I have been studying Bhagavad Gita for many years. Very happy you came here. Too. So please speak from your heart. Bhagavatam, whatever they all will hear, you give the microphone. No, no, I, I won't embarrass you by calling you. <laughs> no, no. No, we are very happy to hear from you. I'm 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 very happy to hear from you. Oh, yeah. I'm very happy to hear from you. Yes, share something. Yeah, it was actually. Uh, Summer 2005. I'll connect it to Bhagavatam only because good fortune comes to uh, different devotees in our lives. So Krishna comes, like in my case, it was devotees only who introduced me to Krishna consciousness. So I was uh, not having faith, like a story. <laughs> to have simplicity and innocence, I was very skeptical. So Gauranku uh, used to come to JJ, but I was not very convinced. But in summer 2005, there was one workshop, there was a newspaper advertise. Advertisement, uh, discover my power. I have read very poor. So I attended that for the first time. That was the first official ISPAM program. JJ programs I never went practically. Although Gorampa was coming, he always used to call me, but I hardly attended any programs. But this was, I, I, I felt uh, it was related to mind power, and I thought, okay, there might be some scientific presentation about mind and uh, how to control it. And, like we all were very ambitious, so we want to achieve something great by controlling our mind. <laughs> so that's what the Indian youth is always aiming for, achieving great heights by meditation, mind power, concentration. What is concentration? That's what all the youth, Indian middle class will want to do. So I was, I was attracted and uh, I came and the previous session was uh, uh, actually transformational because after those three days of uh, Cruz's presentation on mind power based on Bhagavad Gita, Preachers and Guru used to call me, and uh, many students from the day, all of them are now initiated to the Akshay Bodhikar, and many of them were there. And after that, I started chanting. So, <laughs> so actually, Prabhuji was the one who actually convinced me to start chanting. You know, he gave the beats for two rounds. And then after that, I started attending you know, JJ programs, Gautamkur's <laughs> programs. Uh, okay, so it's a long history, but uh, in brief, like Prabhuji said, uh, when Krishna appears in the form, form of vibration, it is holy name. When Krishna appears in the form of drava, the liquid, it's Ganga. Then when Krishna appears in any, I forgot the words because now I am completely out of touch of scriptures. Now I appear in the form of Viti and uh, Krishna appears in the form of Granta, it is Srimad Bhagavatam. So, <laughs> so Krishna Bhagavatam has always uh, inspired me. And as Rudy said, there are many people who are studying Srimad Bhagavatam as they are PhD scholars and they are doing PhD and thesis on some topics of topics of Srimad Bhagavatam, but they are not necessarily devotees. But we are fortunate in Islam. We get to study Srimad Bhagavatam from Bhagavatas, which is more important, not from the scholars, but from devotees who are scholars is the secondary, but first is their heart is that of devotees. So I would say. That's a great fortune. I learned from that. Prabhuji and Gauranku mainly. She and Bhagavatam. And that's how so it's the other way around. <laughs> so I, I thought I was thinking, actually, I was praying to Obina what to do because uh, Rajan Bhadya Prabhu, Lalit Prabhu, uh, Girish Gadi Prabhu, Tasi Govind Prabhu, Mataji, and uh, uh, yeah, some other. So they were very. So I was thinking, you know, who will continue, will continue. And so it was Gopinath's arrangement. So. Only very quick question of what inspired you to decide to join you. You said you came to Krishna consciousness. Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> what inspired you to join the I tell you personally. <laughs> I'm very, very happy actually. Shruti was one of my very. I'm so happy you came today for the class. And, uh, 
without your permission i was actually today is i said i was very proposition for that thank you for coming yeah if you can come every week and speak also <laughs> i love to sit in the audience and hear because you you are very good understanding of scriptures i got the first taste of uh, oh see my manish chocolate my mama chocolate here yeah. in mataji yes 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 oh yes they were attending chocolate club program yes we started with yeah. sugar yes and they told me you are already married and all that i oh. <laughs> <laughs> will not get married not telling me Krishna too. <laughs> 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 he was so convinced about it. I said, "Wait, no, impossible. Without telling you, not getting." I wish him all the best. Any, any, acknowledge it. He said, "Thank you." <laughs> he was thinking you are blessing him. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> And now, I, when you entered, I thought you are going to give the good news. That. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. But so happy that you came today, bro. Thank you, bro. Because I want to really, really thank you for giving me this chance to take this class. Because of this, this gave me shelter of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Because I'm reading Bhagavatam, but the, the excitement of sharing it with devotees. Even I was in UK last three weeks, and every week I was thinking, "Ah, Tuesday, on Tuesday, eight o'clock, <laughs> I used to have class there." So I was there. It was evening there. It was it used to be three thirty. Uh, even afternoon, I used to see the sun of the outside. So oh, now it is like a plus Tuesday. But so then today, I'm afternoon. I came. I thought we should take class. So you have made me uh, attached to this service. <laughs> very very good. <laughs> no 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 really, this is very good service because we're getting to read Bhagavata, speak here, and then we connect it to other chapters of Bhagavata, six canto. We are ten canto se verses there. Yeah. So overall, Bhagavatam study will, as you are dying now, you will realize that all these things, all the dots, will be connected as you are dying. See, some of the greatest scholars of, uh, nice scholars and greatest yogis in India. I end with this. Uh, you know, you have heard of Bihar School of Yoga, one of the top yoga schools in the in the world actually. People from all over the world come and study yoga there, and some of the top yoga gurus in India. They were all like, uh, you know. They are hatha yogis and also mayavadis. Are interested in all these, you know, scriptures. They are only reading all the Vedas and Upanishads. They are not reading Purana, Bhagavata. All meditating always. All of them are dying in their old age. They called their disciples and they said, "Kuch nasni Bhagavatam." All of them died when Bhagavatam going on chanting next to them. मतलब पूरा लाइफ प्रगटने के बाद स्ट्रगल करने के बाद अल्टीमेटली देखें तो बाबत है मुंडली सो वी आर गेटिंग द राइट फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग फॉर्च्यून है कृष्ण ने सुदाम उपगते ज्ञान धर्म बिहि सह कलो नष्ट दृशामेश पुराण अर्थो धनो दिता दे हैव गॉट दिस दैट्स व्हाई द देवताज इन देयर प्रेयर्स टू कृष्ण आई लैंड दिस वन प्रेयर वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्वयं समुत्तीर्य सुदुस्तरम द्युमन एक्चुअली Like very very strange analogy. How can boat be compared to light? Because the boat is compared to light because this is ocean, not of water. Bhavar navam. This is the ocean of darkness. So in an ocean of darkness, you need a boat of light, sunlight. So they are saying in the ocean of darkness, your lotus feet. And I remember, it is like sitting on a boat made of light. Bhavar navam bi mam adab prasaurada. Devotees are so kind; they are attached to your lotus feet. They are attached to this boat. So, what devotees are doing? Bhavat padambo ruana ba matrate. They sat on this boat and they bhagai yellow material boat. But we are sitting here and thinking, "Hey, all of us are not far away. We will do what? But they are so merciful. Adab prasaurada. They are so compassionate, and they know how to do magic also. What magic they did? They went there, 
Nidhayayata. They went there with that boat, and as soon as they landed there, the boat was here for us to sit on the boat. <laughs> they really want to take a boat and cross the ocean. The boat goes with you. But they are saying these devotees are so nice. They took Bhagavatam, they studied, they remembered your lotus feet, and they crossed the ocean and went to your abode, but they left the boat here. Nidhayayata sad anugraho bhava. Oh my dear Lord, you are so merciful. You have given us this Bhagavatam. So this is our great fortune. That we have the Srimad Bhagavatam, we have devotees, we have Guru, Srila Prabhupada, and we have wonderful Vaishnavas. And uh, I feel it is very auspicious that Sri Prabhu came today. And we have got this chance to study Bhagavatam every week. So please study, even if you don't have weekly classes, but reading Bhagavatam every day, memorizing verses will keep us sane. Not memorizing, sorry. I don't want to insist on memorizing. What I meant was reading and connecting to the, uh, the sound of Bhagavatam. Is that okay? Hare Krishna. Any one question or comment or correction? Thank you, devotees online who come. Very happy to see you. Ganesh, very happy to see you. Dr. Hey, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Krishna. Hare 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 Thank you. Thank you for coming.